So guys, the white media, all the top European media, the white people who don't see nothing good about Nigeria, suddenly are behind the Nigerians protesting, supporting and encouraging the Nigerians to protest, to carry on, carry on. As a matter of fact, top bloggers, top white media platforms who don't usually talk about anything good about Nigeria. If Nigeria is building roads, they don't talk about it. If Nigeria is building cars, they don't talk about it. If Nigeria is doing anything great, anything positive, anything good, we don't see it anywhere on their media. Even if a Nigerian in America or a Nigerian in Europe, anywhere is doing something really, really powerful and great, this white media, they don't talk about it. But out of a sudden, they are all showing the protests. They are all talking about the protests. Showing how Nigeria is going, showing the chaos, showing up and down, what is happening, Nigerians are unhappy, blah, blah, blah. You understand? Yeah. I want us to talk about this particular issue. In this video, we will address it. Now, first of all, I want to make it clear that I'm not here to say that it's a bad thing they are covering the media, the, the, the protest. No, the media has to cover the protest because if actually this thing is affecting Nigerians, if actually this thing is becoming a major problem, then the world has to know. And if Nigerians are demanding for a change in their country, the more they spread it across the world, the more the Nigeria government will take Nigeria seriously. The more the Nigeria government will know that this thing is no longer a play, it's no longer a joking matter. And so the Nigeria government, we have to do what they must do. We have to succumb, we have to yield to the demands of Nigerians that are demanding for a better Nigeria. So for me, it's actually a good thing to an extent that they are sharing it. But it all depends on the intention behind them sharing this protest. It's the intention behind the Western media, the Western world, showing the protest currently going on in Nigeria. Now the question is, are they showing this for the good of Nigeria? Are they showing this for the benefit of Nigeria? Or they are showing it to let the world know that we told you this is what Nigeria is. It's a terrible place. You don't have to go there. This is how people behave there. This is the nature of the country, Nigeria. So we have to be careful here as Nigerians, as Africans. We have to be careful because like we said, the protests might have very good intentions to demand for a better Nigeria. The protests might have very genuine and reasonable intentions that can help the Nigerian people, help the Nigerian economy move forward. But there are imposters, there are people that are going to take advantage of this protest. You and I can agree that a good willing Nigeria, a Nigeria that loves Nigeria, that is faithful, that wants to see Nigeria as a better country, that wants to see Nigeria develop, even though you are encouraging this protest, you agree with me that you are not encouraging destruction of properties. You are not encouraging those boys, those people that have appeared from nowhere in the middle of the protest and are transforming the entire thing to chaos because they are intentionally putting the lives of Nigerians at risk. They are intentionally exposing the lives of Nigerians who are protesting for the good of Nigeria. What they are doing is they want to provoke the military. They want to provoke the government. Because no government will sit and watch protesters destroying properties worth billions. Properties worth millions. And after that, they will just fold their arms and watch them ruin everything. And after that, the government will have to start constructing a fridge. So the military will have to do something to defend against those kind of protesters. And doing so, civilians who are innocent, people who are genuinely just demanding for a better Nigeria might be affected. As we are already hearing, Many people have been dislived already. Many, many people don't buy. Many lives have been gone already just because of the people taking advantage of the protest. So I said to myself, this is getting out of hand and the media needs to be strategic in the way they cover it. Because if the media doesn't play its role, if the media doesn't encourage Nigerians that protest, but protest well, Protest, but protect the integrity of Nigeria. Protest, but protect your life. Protest, but make sure that you are not destroying what Nigeria already has. Because if the protest becomes a protest that will now destroy what Nigeria has already built, then what is the need? What is the difference between you, who is protesting, and the government? If you are protesting and your intention is to destroy Nigeria, then what's the difference between you and the government that you're protesting again, that against that is ruining the country? 
ask yourself that question and that's what the media needs to be very careful so the white media is suddenly interested in the protest because one the white media we need to make money off the protest the white media they want to make money they don't care about nigerians they just want to make their money they just again want to show the world again that nigeria is what they have always described nigeria to be and so you might see them sharing the, 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 the videos, the protests, talking about it, and you think that is for the interest. If the white man wants to talk about the protest for their interest, they will share it in a very educative manner and an informative manner that will help Nigerians, will help the rest of the world understand what Nigerians are going through and know how they can support and encourage Nigerians to achieve a better life and a better Nigeria. Besides, these same white people who are sharing this now, they are the same people who are responsible for why Africa is at the where Africa is and why Africans are protesting. If they are so interested at Nigeria's problems, if the white man is so interested at Africans' problems, why would they wait for protests? Why would they not talk about what Africans are going through on a daily basis? Why would they not care about Africans that are passing through the Mediterranean Sea, passing through the desert, passing through the jungles to get to America, get to Europe? And eventually, when the Africans get to America and Europe, how are they treated by the West and their media? So, don't be, don't, don't, don't be mistaken, don't mistakenly think that they are sharing this protest about Nigeria because they love it or because they want to support Nigeria or because they want to support Nigerians to achieve their goal. They know how they always play us. They know how they always play their game. So Nigerians must be smart. If they want to show that they love Africa, there is serious issue going on in Congo. The white media is sleeping. They are not talking about it. They are not seeing. They pretend as if they are not seeing it. Africans must be wise. Nigeria must be wise. In as much as Nigerians have the right to protest and demand for a better Nigeria, Nigerians don't allow this protest to be taken advantage of. Because if you allow them to take advantage of the protest and transform it into something else, your energy, your resources, and everything you spend for the protest will yield no better results. It is what it is. Your boy Ajo Max is on this one again. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheese!